What have you got? No externals, no cuts, no scratches, no obvious signs of abuse. Cause of death? Undetermined. I'll have to take a look inside. Can you give me a hand? You know why you're here, Andy? My ThinkPad's messed up. You guys are fixing it, right? Somebody's working on it right now. You think it'll be long? It's hard to say. It has some pretty serious internal damage. You know what this is? A keyboard? It's your keyboard. <laughs> okay, so? This looks like abuse, Andy. What do you mean? Two of your keys are missing. Look how flat the space bar is. It doesn't spring back anymore, does it? No. That's because of the way you beat on it every time you play a game. I do not. You beat it, son. That make you feel like a man? I don't beat on it. We have witnesses. Your friend Rachel saw you. She told us everything. Yeah? Well, her ThinkPad's messed up too, she tell you that? You want me to talk to her? Yeah, let's see what she has to say. I'm on it. What else she tell you? She told us what happened last week. <laughs> that wasn't my fault. I knocked it out of my lap. Besides, it still worked. You just don't get it, do you? We're talking about hidden damage here to your hard drive. A hard drive is complex and fragile. When it's operating, the heads hover just over the data, not quite touching it. And by not quite, I mean less than the width of a human hair. But if it gets jarred or banged or bumped, the heads will crash into the recording surface and scratch it. And maybe destroy some data. You could lose something important. What do you think? Well... We've done everything we can, but it's pretty far gone. We'll know in a few hours. What kind of person does something like this? That's the worst part. She's just a kid. How long has your ThinkPad been down, Rachel? Since this morning. I couldn't turn it on. I don't know what happened. It worked fine last night. Your system board is damaged. It is. What's the system board? It's like the central nervous system of a ThinkPad. But that's inside of it, right? I didn't do anything to that. Maybe not, intentionally. But if you ever stuff it in your book bag when you're in a hurry, or drop the case, or put something heavy on top of it, or even swing it around while you're carrying it, it can damage the system board. See, every time you do something like that, it makes the cover flex. Maybe a little, maybe a lot, OK? OK. Well, the system board is attached to the bottom cover. So every time the cover flexes, it bends the system board, too. This causes stress to the connections that attach some of the circuits to the board. Are you with me? Uh-huh. Well, these connectors may crack after a lot of little stresses. Or after one big one. And when that happens? The notebook doesn't work. OK, so keep it a little while and fix it. Andy, your hard drive is dead. It has to be replaced. I know. So replace it. What's the big deal? The big deal is this. When your computer comes back, it'll be minus your math homework, minus your biology research paper, your web downloads, and all the other files that got trashed along with your hard drive. No way. That research paper is 10 pages long. And it's due tomorrow. I guess you should have thought about that. And you should have backed up your work. It didn't have to happen like this, son. What was I supposed to do? You were supposed to take care of it. Look, Andy, of course you could damage it when you drop it. But your little everyday habits can damage it too. Like what? Like the way you close it at the end of class. Don't just shut it and run. But all the guys do that. 
Yeah. And most of them have hard drive crashes, too. Before you pack it or even move it, use the function and F4 keys to put it in standby. Then wait a couple seconds for the standby light to come on. That means the heads are locked. Now you can move it. If you move it before they're locked, bad things could happen. Either way, the heads haven't had time to lock in place, which means they can crash into your data and mess it up. After a few of those, you can say goodbye to your hard drive and all your saved work. Now, what do you do? Wait till it's in standby, then put it in the carrying case. And that's all you put in the case. No books, no binders, nothing heavy, just the ThinkPad and you carry it close to your side. It's in standby mode. The heads are parked and the hard drive is protected. So, if somebody does bump into you... Sorry, dude. It's no big deal. But I'll look like a dork. Oh, yeah? You're sitting here with no homework, no buddy list, no downloaded files. Don't you look like a dork now? I guess. So, what am I supposed to do? Okay, first carry it like I showed you. When you get to your locker, don't just drop it and leave it there. And don't put anything heavy on top of it. Instead, just put it in your locker. Make sure you don't have to force it and don't put anything on top of it. And when you're done for the day, don't just close it or use standby. Once each day, it's good for the ThinkPad to shut it down using the Windows menu. Okay. One more thing. What? Your keyboard's missing a key. You want to tell me about that? Well, it came off, and I couldn't get it back on. They don't just come off, Rachel. The lab found edible organic matter in the keyboard. What's that? Food. Looks like cookie crumbs and also possibly potato chips. Well, sometimes I eat while I'm doing homework. I guess I'm a little messy. You also try to clean up, don't you? Yeah, but those crumbs are hard to get out. Listen, Rachel. The best thing is not to eat or drink near your system. If you do see a crumb in the keyboard, just use a soft brush to get it out. Don't try to dig it out. It's tough on the keys, and eventually something may break. Same thing goes for the latches. What do you mean? The way you play with them. That's just something I do when I'm bored. I know, but if you do it a lot, day after day, they may just snap off. Treat your ThinkPad carefully and it'll last for years. Otherwise, you'll end up as repeat offenders. And you don't want that. Besides, not all damage is covered by the warranty. You could ring up some hefty repair bills. But I'm not that rough with it, really. Me neither. I mean, I know I did all that stuff he said, but it didn't seem to bother it much. That's how it is with these things. They stand up to a lot. But that doesn't mean they'll last forever. Every time you slam them, every time you jar them while they're running, every time you drop them, it hurts them a little more. You can't always tell. See? Still looks great on the outside, but the damage is building on the system board or the hard drive. And one day, your ThinkPad ends up dead. You two got lucky this time. Your notebooks have been fixed. Does this mean we're free to go? For now. But take care of those things, and don't let us see you back here again. Okay, you won't, I promise. Me too. We'll get it right, we really will. I hope so. Next, on Without a Clue. Where did I put it? A ThinkPad goes missing. It was here a minute ago. And time is running out. Where is it? I have to get to class. Without a Clue. Next.